In Swedish, that means yes. Me and my brother spent New Year in Sweden and Denmark. Before going there, I was expecting uh, ice, I was expecting snow, but it was only and only cold. Yeah, it was windy and very cold wind. So it was so cold that we, me and my brother, were entering coffee shop, we were ordering four teas. Two, we were drinking immediately, warming ourselves up, and two, we were taking with ourselves while we're walking, we warm our hands with that tea and then we drink that tea and that's how it was keeping us warm like for next 30-40 minutes and then again and then again, it was very cold. Today I want to talk about 13 Scandinavian words that are not exist in other languages or you need to translate it with the whole sentence. My pronunciation will not be perfect but I will write all the words here so you can practice with yourself. Let's start. The word number one is foroske. Imagine you have just fallen in love. All those butterflies in the stomach, all those shakes, all those whispers. The beginning moment of love. Not the whole process, just the beginning part. Well, in Norway, they created one word to describe these feelings and that is Toroskjet. Kjokota. In Sweden, they have one word to describe wake up early in the morning to go out to listen to birds singing. And that is Kjokota. Isn't it beautiful? They have one word for such a beautiful thing. Word number three is kurus. Is that mess on your hair after hot sex. Kurus. Next word is orka. In Swedish, that word means full of energy, full of motivation. But most Swedish people use that in negative context when they don't have any more energy or motivation to do something. Vobba is also an interesting word, is when you take paid vacation, paid day off to take care of your sick kid at home, but instead you go and work from home. It's a combination of two words, yabba and vabba. Google bar is information about someone or something that does not exist even on Google. Kallisarikannit if you've been asked what you're doing on Saturday evening and you are planning to stay at home without your pants and drink wine, tea or coffee, then you can say you have Kjalsadikanni. Fika is something all of us need. It's a specific Swedish ritual. During the hard working day, you take a break for coffee and tea, spend it with yourself or with your colleagues talking on different topics. What is important during the fika, you should relax. Well, take a coffee on the go, doesn't count. Fika, it's not just a word. It's some state that only can be felt. You will not be able to describe. It's a special atmosphere of happiness and pleasure. The smell of the pages when you read it from the beginning to the end. The soft socks, the taste of your favorite dish warming your legs after a long walk. Lagom is concept of balance. The philosophy of happiness for Swedish people is having balance in everything. Doesn't matter you're equipping your house or you're buying food or you're just relaxing. For Swedish people it is important to take as much as you really need. Not more, not less. Siso. <laughs> in Slavic languages that mean boobs, one boob. For Finnish people it means endurance, hardcore, hard work. Their philosophy is what needs to be done will be done. Arbeitsglade. In Denmark they have specific concept, joy from the work. And that is true because how can we be happy if we cannot have happiness from our work? We cannot get pleasure from it. And the last one, Vaska. Vaska is literally to buy two bottles of champagne and ask one to be washed out to the sink just to show how rich you are. Or for example, you order two taxis and ask one to follow you. That is Vaska. So, let's let's go one more. Föresket, Gökota, Knullrufs, Orka, Vobba, Ogugulbar, Kalsjärja, Kennit, Fika, Hika, Lagom, Sisu, Arbeidsglide, Vaska. Thank you for watching. If one day you will go to Scandinavian countries 
that is very beautiful and fantastic place to live. I hope words from this video will help you. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.